from birthdays to weddings, holidays, or just a morning pastry. The local bakery has been there for us, celebration after celebration, generation after generation. <laughs> water all over this town when thinking about cannolis, sfugadella, and let's not forget the cookies, rainbows, pinolis, and more by the pound. In New York City, bakery traditions run deep, and while many have come and gone, it's the good old-fashioned Italian bakery that has proved to stand the test of time. And we begin where it all began, right here on Grand and Mulberry in the year 1892, when Ferrara Bakery opened its doors. Ba, ba, ba. What is Ferrara? It's a love factory and we use pastry as our vehicle to bring it across. It might not be as pretty as the French all the time, but it definitely has the wow. When you're smiling, when you're smiling. We're actually one of the oldest in the world. There's one American bakery older than us that's in Texas. And when you laugh, what did you bring out? The tricolore cookie, which is named after the Italian flag. This is our trio. We have our sfogliatella, and then we have a lobster tail. You bring on the rim. Why do you think Ferrara Bakery has stood the test of time? We stick to the basics. So I don't have to reinvent what we do at Ferrara. I have to make sure we do it well and teach it forward. Cheers to greatness, Ernest. Cheers. Thanks for having us today. Oh, glory. Blessings. For our next stop, we've headed out to Gravesend, Brooklyn to visit Cuccio's Bakery, which is about to celebrate its 80th anniversary on Avenue X. John, when Cuccio's first opened, the area was very different. Yep, there were two buildings on the block, Cuccio's and 216, and everything else was pig farms. So a bakery, a school, and a whole lot of pigs. Yeah, pigs. Don't know why I love you. What do you think sets Cuccio's apart from the other bakeries in the area? It's everything's made from scratch here. And it's all the same recipes that my grandfather started with. I wonder why. We have lobster tails, we have Napoleons. This is an Italian thing? Yep. I've actually never had one before. You've had a baba? It's very spongy favorite. and it's soaked with rum. I love you like I do. That's <laughs> yummy. That's real rum. Mm. That's not the fake stuff. Busy, busy here at Cuccio's. I can't come to an Italian bakery and not ask about a rainbow cookie. We're the only bakery, I think, in America. We call it a seven layer here. And it's seven layers of cookies. Not seven layers between the, the jelly and the cake. This is seven layers of cake. Whoa, whoa. We have. They're huge. Absolutely. Folks will be laughing with you. And this is a world famous jelly donut from Cuccio's. This is what we're known for, believe it or not. All right, I'm excited about this. No, I'm excited. I haven't had a jelly donut in a while, but I always enjoy them, so. Never was in style. John, thank you so much for showing me around Cuccio's today. Everything is delicious, and thank you for keeping the traditional. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So smile, smile.